55-year-old Roger Wheeler was a respected businessman and self-described strong Presbyterian who had growing doubts about his gambling-related investment. And today, authorities are trying to decide if that investment paid off in his death. John Ferrugia reports from Tulsa. The killing of Telex president and Tulsa millionaire Roger Wheeler has raised questions as to why the chairman of the board of a major U.S. corporation would be involved in a legalized gambling business that is allegedly tainted with the money of organized crime. Sources now say Oklahoma detectives are convinced that Wheeler's death was a contract killing. Wheeler finished his weekly golf game last Wednesday at this exclusive country club, got into his Cadillac to leave when a man approached his open car door and shot him once in the head. The killer left four unspent cartridges near the body, then got into a waiting car and sped away into rush hour traffic. The killing stunned this southwestern city, and none of Wheeler's friends or associates could give a reason for his murder. He is a very uh, religious, uh, uh, ethical, aggressive, smart, intelligent man. Very close family uh, ties, and just a fine man in every respect. But in addition to his role in Telex Corporation, Wheeler, his son, and others own WJA Realty Company, which in 1979 purchased Miami-based World High Lion Incorporated for $50 million. The corporation owned frontons in both Florida and Hartford, Connecticut. Wheeler later sold the Connecticut fronton and fired six longtime employees. The First National Bank of Boston helped finance the World High Lie deal for Wheeler and in return wanted one of its advisors, John Callahan, to manage the corporation. But Florida gaming investigators said Callahan had links to organized crime and nixed the deal. So the bank dropped Callahan and substituted a close associate, Richard P. Donovan. Wheeler was a partner in a summer High Lie operation with three others, including Jack Cooper, a known associate of organized crime figure Meyer Lansky. But Roger Wheeler say his friends was an honest man and found it increasingly difficult to live the life of a respected corporate official and a religious family man while continuing his association with organized gambling. So he tried to sell out, and Donovan, president of the corporation, was ready to buy. But the deal involving Donovan and an associate, Paul Rico, fell through, and business associates say tension between Wheeler, Donovan, and Rico increased. So much so that Wheeler told a former Connecticut gaming official he wanted to fire both Donovan and Rico, but so far had not found out a way to do so. Today in Florida, Paul Rico declined to discuss his relationship with Wheeler. Does Mr. Rico have any thoughts, or Mr. Donovan have any thoughts, about who might be responsible? Not enough evidence to, to find out really what's happened. Uh, they're just confident it had absolutely nothing to do with the sport of high line. Uh, just not enough facts are in. Because of organized crime overtones, the FBI is monitoring the case. But so far, it has not undertaken its own investigation. But the local effort continues. And as one Tulsa investigator said, it may be a case of a man just getting in over his head. John Ferrugia, CBS News, Tulsa.